Hey guys, we got a miscellaneous Monday video here. I've been requested a couple of times now how exactly I record and edit my videos for my channel here. I'm not really gonna get in depth with everything, so if anyone has any questions on the topics I'm about to present, please leave a comment and I will answer the best I can. So, for starters, there are four important things I use here that allow me to make videos. Number one, a camera. Preferably a decent one. You may use a phone, but I really wouldn't recommend it. Number two, a capture card device. For instance, I use the Elgato 60HD. Number three, a computer. And on your computer, you're gonna need a game capture program and an editing program. The first thing I do when I want to record a Let's Play is set up the Elgato opening up the Game Capture HD program beforehand. The micro USB here plugs into the USB on my laptop. The HDMI next to that is coming from the Xbox to the capture device. Finally, this last HDMI connects to my TV. Afterwards, I'll set up my camera on its tripod and my full setup is complete. Before going live, I'd be sure that the topic I'm recording is video worthy or it's something I'd be interested in as a viewer myself. So making sure both the program and my camera are set to 1080, it's as simple as hitting record on them both at the same time. And next is the best part, when you get a play. When the best part is all over, I access the files via memory chip for my camera. The gameplay recorded with the program will already be saved to your computer. These files can then be directly imported to whatever video editor you would like. I have made several videos with iMovie, but here I'm using Final Cut. Here are some files from the last video I uploaded, and as you can see, there's one file of gameplay, and sometimes I shut off my camera during some of the downtime during a Let's Play and turn it back on when I'm ready. So as you can see, there's two face cam files. I drag and drop the files onto Final Cut and line the clips up so that they're in sync. Finally, I add my frame. If you plan on overlaying a frame for your video, make sure it's a .png file or a transparent image. Otherwise, it won't work. This is very, very important. In order to fit my frame, I transform and crop the face cam file using the video editor options here in Final Cut. The frame then needs to extend the entire length of the video. So here I'll stretch it out all the way for the entire length of the video. Or just wherever your face cam is present. If at some point your face cam isn't in the shot, you'll probably want to take the frame off of it as well. Something I usually end up messing up on my videos. Next, I want you guys to take note of whatever your editor gives you. Just push every button there is on your editor, see what they do, get creative with it. I tend to add stupid edits on my videos for fun, as you guys have probably seen. Also, I cut out boring parts of my footage, giving them that sort of montage feel. Although, not everything needs to be edited. So as you can see as a whole, when you skim through the whole thing, the gameplay, the face cam, and the frame are all working together very nicely. Finally, I export or save the file to my computer with these settings. Then I'm all set to upload it to YouTube. So if you made it this far, the work's not quite done yet. You're gonna need a thumbnail, which I've made a video for as well. That video will pop up on your screen now. You will also need to title and tag your video properly. YouTube has plenty of videos showing you how to do that. And if you go to look one up, those videos will likely tell you to use highly searched keywords so viewers can find your video easier. There are two different websites I use for that specifically. I'll link them in the description below. So for example, when you search Call of Duty, these sites will show you the most popular searches around this topic. You can also just type in Call of Duty in YouTube, being that YouTube is a search engine on its own, and see what words successful videos are using. So that's basically how I put my videos together. There are many other ways to do it. Perhaps one day I'll look back at this video and laugh, but for now, I'm really enjoying this setup. It's just what I have, so I'm making it work. I hope you guys were able to learn something here, and if you did, go ahead and leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys Thursday.